Good evening. Hello. Hello, Tim. Catch 64. Queen Trap, Ralph. have fun last night no we uh, unfortunately did not there was lots of drama which was unfortunate so that yeah, was not a good night hey plastic pollution hey McNaster Was I warming up the water for the hot tub stream? I wish. Hey champ, how you doing? Happy Sunday night. What do the people want to start with? I can make a bit of progress on my latest speed run. We could do a viewer tournament. Yeah, energy's right. We could do some marbles. We could do whatever. Flexible. Where are the Hickey updaters? I think they're hibernating right now. I think the, the resident Hikaru updaters, some of them are hibernating. So that during the day they're on on call. I think Tim is a resident Hikaru updater and he'd be able to probably provide uh, you with some intel. Tim is in our files. I didn't get any answers about what people were uh, were looking for. I guess nobody cares. I can we'll just sit here, chill. Oh uh oh, Doctor Lord Mayonnaise is here. Doctor Lord Mayonnaise is indeed here. So you're in luck, champ, because uh, yeah, there's the guy. There's the Hefe. There's the Bourbon Street Menace. I don't know, Gory. You just uh, pick something, and the goal is to that uh, you're okay with that. Whatever number you pick, you got to. It's not going to be the highest, but you're okay with it. And then from then on. You want to only go up, but just have a baseline that you're let's establish a baseline, be consistent and uh, work your way up. Tim, I gave a few chess options. You weren't, you're not very specific. We want a nice start with chess. So Tim doesn't want to start. At Temptation Island, he'd like some chess. But some people thought he already had enough chess today. Courtesy of Hickey. He had his fill. Gory has no badge. He has this is this is true. This is a good point. Champ. But he does have a sword. Actually, I gotta send Gory some money. I was on my list. 
I'll message you later, Gory. Night. You can't afford both platforms right now. That's okay. If you had to pick a platform, the sub, well, doesn't matter. Once Kick is integrated with Discord, that'll be easier. But Kick won't integrate with Discord unless Hikaru requests it. So then we're back to the Hikaru problem. Right now, if you're subbed on Kick, can't really work you into the Discord. There's no API connection there. You'll be the hands updater, hands through his game. Thank you, champ. Well, Tim, if you're feeling sick, sounds like a perfect week to make some progress going to Temptation Island. I've been disconnected. Why do I always lose connection from chess.com? Like, maybe a lot of the games we've lost, when Amon's low on time, when I'm low on time, it's not because we're slow, it's because we actually like lose time throughout the game due to server connection. I've had that theory before. Messy Marvin is here and I know he's a first time kick user because he's too busy even on Twitch for us. Exactly, Messy Marv. Yeah, the poker demon. It's gonna be complicated soon. Now Twitch is allowing people to multi-stream. I think that's gonna be very popular for, for some some content creators giving you a new way to support yes you get a bigger cut if you wait a lot okay just ninja thank you for gifting a sub to gory hole if people want me to start this speed run let me go make a coffee it'll take a minute get my, i get my coffee i have my snooze and we will uh does Kick allow X-rated content? It depends on your scale. It does not allow porn, but uh, more things are allowed here than on Twitch, let's say. But it's not fully clear. Yeah, it's rated R. X is a bit much. But when McNaster hangs his queen, somebody says that's that's pornography i'm not gonna disagree with them right dwight howard kind of things fantastic comment fantastic comment thank you funk monkey kick has no ads that's right means you don't have to sub if you want to avoid ads we're not pushing ads on people but so i just can't say in the future if they're going to introduce it or not because they're going to have to make money at some point it won't be i don't think they'll follow the youtube ad or twitch ads it might be more like casino related or something a little more Expensive, like fewer ads, but the ads are targeting money a bit more, you know? You know, like getting like anime ads or getting like crypto casino ads. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm really just like, no, there's no ads on Kick. And as long as they keep improving their, their app and stuff, for you guys, it should be very similar to Twitch. And then we can try to focus on good products. Let me go turn on the coffee machine. We're going to continue. Latinum Blonde, I s Latinum Blonde is a busy guy. You know how I know Latinum Blonde is busy? Because I don't see him in the chat all that much. But then I saw him on our VOD channel on YouTube. Chesspra VODs commenting, commenting on different parts of videos, catching up on Amon's educational stuff. So he's not always there for the streams on Twitch, but then he's actually watching the VODs on YouTube and taking notes. So, shout out to Latinum Blonde on the VODs channel. And Gory, we like to see comments on the VODs channel. We like to see, if you guys miss streams, go to our VODs channel 
Because YouTube is by far the best experience or, or, or video player. Unless you're a degenerate who wants to read chat during the VOD. But if you just want to watch the VOD and easy, seamless, the YouTube player is the best. And we're keeping that up to date. Uh, kick, Magic Wiener. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, our kick deal ends in December. We're, we've been doing three month terms. So I, in November is when I'm talking to them again. And we're going to see, we're going to see if it makes sense or not. So I'll know more in, by December. You're always there for the Leonard Botez Gambit. <laughs> okay, let me uh, make a coffee and we're going to, I'm going to do uh, some of the speed run. Hello, Diet Silver. Coffee machine's loud. Then I'm gonna start. Hello, Spudge. The unicycle. <laughs> the unicycle was used yesterday, but uh, there was some drama first. It was feisty. Yep, we we're discussing the. Hockey stuff in the, in the Discord. Yeah. Just boys being boys. You kiss and make up after. Oh no, I couldn't even describe it. Those people were uh, aggro. Aggro energy. Kind of what you see sometimes, uh, Tim. Just people just randomly aggro. You've seen it before. Hello, McNaster. Exactly, exactly. I said it's my coffee machine. Now it's done. You think you go full troll mode? <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty good at that. No, no, it's not in last night's VOD. Last night's VOD was fine. I think that was just Trevor and Sam. Alrighty. We're gonna begin. Messy Marvin subbed. I got, uh, got my coffee ready. Now I just have to pick playlist and then we start to play some games let's see here mm. I'll just do euro dance I'll keep it simple I'll do some euro dance
You want coffee? Yes, yes. Perfect. We're good to go. New late night session. C5. I think it's the first time we've seen C5 in this, this speedrun so far. Well, we're going to toss in the Mora Gambit. B6. Not a bad move. Takes, takes, queen d5. They can block with the knight. We need something more energetic. Let's go, bishop c4. Ah, d6. You know, creating this nice little triangle, but I see an issue. I see an issue with this move. And the squares that it weakens. Anybody, anybody else, anybody viewing want to guess? For d6, I was mentioning I wanted to tickle this rook a bit. I could go queen h5, target this pawn, but black will go e6 and jam the bishop. You know, at least prevent it from accessing that. However, bishop d5, and uh, I don't see a good way to defend against the threat of bishop takes a8. Because when the pawn was on d7, at least you could go knight c6 and block, so. That's what I was hoping for. And I take. And now what are, what are we going to do? Pull the bishop back. Somewhere safe. Usually safe is where it's defended or it can't be attacked easily by opposing material. Um, this pawn's being attacked, so let's just develop the knight. And try to get castled ASAP. Alright. Now, develop some more pieces. Let's develop this bishop. Gonna put it on this diagonal, I think. They're both good, but I like this because of e5. Pin to win. Get some trades in as well. When you pin, you're guaranteeing a trade. The queen was out of the way. I could just give up my bishop for a knight. I'm up a rook at the end of the day, so trades are good. Um, but we can we can go for more. All right. Let's take with the queen. And we want to trade. Okay, I'll go. I'll go e5. I could take, but e5 also looks pretty good. The knight goes here, we get to trade. I can't go there because of the queen. I can go there. So this is what I wanted. I want to trade. I can take with the knight or the bishop. I'm going to take with the bishop because then I can take with the knight. And that's a tempo. Because that'll attack the queen as well. So, not really giving any, uh, any time. Uh-oh. That's a blunder. Nothing fancy, but... Just gonna swing my rook over, hit the queen. I have 97 check coming. But he didn't see it.
uh, Gory, what's... What do we do with Gory right now? I got flagged, so you look good. A win is a win. For, for their clan. Gory is the new chess bay, a mod gone rogue. It's a funny guy. Did you play her? You played her in person. Wow. And she asked for intel and you said you were chess bra mod? Do you know, isn't that the first thing they teach intelligence officers, spies, soldiers? Don't say you came from us if you're, if you're getting tortured, if you're losing. If you win, you can. But if she's waterboarding you, the problem is you probably would want her to waterboard you. Uh, see, this is... If you... They're very, they're very tricky, the, the sisters. They're, they're good at getting answers out. We might have to organize something. A tr another trial for Gory. And we'll pick the jury. Like, this is not... Yeah. I have to think about this. I need to turn on the AC. It, I find it hot as hell in the house. So you had a good time in Las Vegas at TwitchCon. So, champ, I didn't go to TwitchCon, but Gory went. Sounds like he had a good time playing with the ladies. But we have to now... Um, hope this AC works. Hello, Yasser. Yasser, uh, it's a bit late. I'm just teaching the good viewers right now of uh, Kick. I'm playing E4, just doing a bunch of E4 games and playing D6 is black versus everything. Yes, with some chess TV blessing. But Yasser is worth a lot of viewers. Hello Yasser, please educate these young people. What do you think Yasser is an expert in? What do you think he can teach? Champ, do you know what you missed last week? You missed the match between Yasser and Amon. However, that'll be on the YouTube. And what I can say is Yasser still uses his bamboo stick from time to time. Those are not for la... No, no, Tim. Messy Marvin doesn't know even what that is. Those are just nice for the boys. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, Marvin's like, a, I think, like a four... Definitely a four or five year viewer. If he... Tier three, or he was at least. Long time. So, when you started coming on the channel, Tim, that coincided with Marvin getting addicted to poker. So you guys, like, switched spots or something. But he still has his tier three, yeah. So... But he's been, I mean, I even know what he looks like. We had our webcam sessions, you know, COVID, the DGENs, all on Discord. You're measured in viewers? No, 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 yeah, sir. No, 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 that's not how you're, no. Oh, the baby. Yeah, the baby, but the baby doesn't drink bougie water. That's why you kept the tier three. Top water for the baby. Tier three for us. That's the compromise. You like the haircut? I just haven't styled my hair. What? Well, I mean, I just, I just, just got uh, got it short. But if you like the haircut, you gotta go. Think uh, big deal.
Yeah, yesterday was supposed to be Halloween night, but there was too much drama. I'll have to go out another time. I can grow out the tail, uh, J Bell. I used that rocket tail when I was your age. A Ronaldo tail. You coming uh, next weekend? The thing is, for that look, for mullet or whatever, faux hawk, which is what Amon and I used to both do together, you have to be skinny. It's absolutely like a skinny look. I have, like, it's, there's no way like anybody who's not skinny in my opinion should be rocking that. It, it, it just somehow like, it's like maybe the worst cut for that. I'm not skinny, I no. Bias would like to sh talk shit to me. He, he's lucky. I was, I haven't drafted too well. Well, I'm winning the underdog NFL league pretty badly right now. Uh, but NBA, I was a little worried about some of my picks. Grady Dick, I, didn't, I took rookies and I took Eamon Thompson. Don't know the fuck's going on there. But I, I took a look at my players and how they're performing. And pretty much, uh, I, I, I had the highest point total in the league this, this week. If you take everybody's uh, better performance, that I, I have the highest potential points, which is a good sign. It's a good sign. Very good sign. My team, no, I mean, uh, if you're saying my team is shit, I'll happily bet with you when we have our matchup. I don't think you'll take it. First week is luck, even uh, first week in fantasy. Not too concerned. Just learning about the players. My NFL underdog team has not been lucky. I have Jalen Waddle, I have McCaffrey. I don't have any good tight ends. I took Mahomes early, which is risky, and he was dog shit today. I took Jordan Love as a QB2, who has done fine in fantasy for, for that role. Um, uh, I took ETN, I'm a Jags fan. I mean, again, just a smart pick. What's um uh, Sut Sutton. Portland Sutton. Uh, who else did I take? I, I just have a good team. I'm consistently I'm consistently outperforming everybody. But uh Thongmi, I'm happy to bet. I'm happy to bet uh with you when you face my team. But yeah, looking at my team, I was worried at first. I was like, my team sucks. And then I've taken a look, I've watched the games. Al Burton's gonna be good. Davis, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Yasser, Yasser, do you wanna run marbles right now? There's an entry fee, but we can run marbles if you wanna join. There'd be an entry fee. 10 kick subs, and I'll run a marbles race, but Yasser has to join. No? Why are you saying no, Yasser? I thought you enjoyed that. Does no mean yes? I'll tell you what, Thomas. You know more about baseball. You like the Diamondbacks. They're a young team. You predicted it. You worked with some, some of the guys. They're very dangerous. They're, they're pretty incredible uh, to watch. And uh, Tommy Pham is just one of the best acquisitions of the season. He's almost always been available, but he's really fit in really well there. I mean, he's always been a talented player. He has other issues, but uh, yeah, um, great, great series. Fine, Brian says, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. No, to Tommy Pham hasn't, if you look, he's consistently a plus player in baseball. Which is why he gets paid about 10 million a year on one-year contracts. He's a one war, one to 1.5 war a year player, who is very versatile with where he can play and where he can bat. But I have other intel and other stuff behind the scenes that I can't share everything with. But 
he pulled, you know, he punched, punched the dude over NFL fantasy. He got stabbed outside of a strip club. You know, I, not a long-term contract kind of guy. Uh, getting stabbed outside a strip club, fortunately didn't happen to us in LA when we celebrated Amon's chess boxing win. But the reason it wasn't a problem is because Gory played chess in the strip club and scared the shit out of any potential offenders. When you see people playing chess in a strip club, you realize there's somebody crazier than you and you being the knife wielding individual. Somebody's playing chess in a strip club, they're, they're capable of anything probably. Like, so Gory was our you know, security. Yeah, sir, have you ever heard of that? Chess at a strip club? I've seen it in person. But it was bullet chess, it was hyper bullet. I'm, wow, J Bell, J Bell and Gory are gonna be in Toronto. It's gonna be a dangerous duo. Yeah, sir, what do you want to do right now? I was going to educate people, but you've distracted me. Corbin? Oh, he's Hapa, so you can put me in touch with him if you want there, Thomas. We can, uh, I can. I can always help the Hapa players. Seattle's also got Brian. I've actually, I think, messaged Brian once. I was excited to see him pitch this year. Brian Wu on the Mariners. Yasser, Yasser can't make the Toronto meetup because he's doing the Sinkfield Cup. I think it's around the time. But otherwise, we are doing a Toronto meetup. Uh, December 15th and 16th. We got 10 subs from Messi Marvin, Yasser. Shall we do a marbles race? Shall we run a marbles race? Yeah, sir. Will you watch? You need a St. Louis meetup? I, I used to live in St. Louis and go there all the time. Yeah, sir's there now too, which may, means it's less likely I'm gonna visit. But St. Louis, St. Louis is not a very nice city, objectively. I've done St. Louis meetups. Yasser's been there. Yasser's been to a St. Louis meetup. We had a good time. Yasser's also refereed a separate St. Louis meetup. We had a good time. But when are we gonna do Miami? When are we gonna do Arizona? We can do the waste management golf tournament and get plastered. When are we gonna, go? you know, when? Well, Vegas, like, like St. Louis. St. Louis, I've seen guns. I've seen knives. I've seen Yasser. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, I met Yasser on the couch at the chess house in St. Louis. He didn't know me, I didn't know him before then, on a personal level. It was 2015, and uh, we both liked to go on the couch after work. I was doing regular chess club work, GM in residence, he was doing commentary. So we met at the living, in the living room, maybe had like a, a Yasser likes, like, you know, maybe a, a rum and coke or something, maybe we had that. We put on, there was a movie on and I came to join. I like action movies, so does Yasser, it worked out. We bonded over some shows, Trailer Park Boys. It went well. So that living room was as a special place in my heart. So that same trip, after meeting Yasser, the problem is there's two of us living in the house and there's one TV. So whoever gets there first, has control over the remote and gets to put on 
put on, uh, you know, the content. So I thought of a way, I thought of a way to assert dominance. Um, one night while Yasser was sleeping, another chess bar viewer invited a friend and let's say we got along. She was a stripper, but very interesting lady. Very young at the time. I was like, she was like 20. I was 22 or 23. Super hot though. And uh, we went to the living room. I hadn't seen Kill Bill. So we put on Kill Bill. And we had sex on the couch that Yasser liked to sit, sit on. With Kill Bill on. So, juices flying. What I didn't know is she was scratching my back and that was fine. She was like five feet tall or something, but like feisty and very fit. So first of all, I left lots of, I, I, I claimed the couch, Yasser hasn't, I don't think he knows this. He just sat there the next day, enjoyed his movies. But my entire back was bleeding. And I had to, we had to go get something to put it on. I didn't realize till the next day, like I, like she had just, she had these like nails or something and the entire, entire back was bloody. Like it was like, she was channeling some Uma Thurman energy, but it was a very, it was, it was a fun time. And that's why, that's why, that's why I'm friends with Yasser. I dominated the couch. Sorry, one sec. Okay, I'm gonna set up marbles because Messi Marvin did. Uh... Did contribute to it. But I can't guarantee Yasu's participation, but I'm gonna run a race. Oh shit, we're on chess TV. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be talking. Sorry, I, there's kids. I, um, yeah, I, we were playing, like, <laughs> we are doing other, other stuff. Playing chess on my back. Playing Fortnite. Sorry. Join. Oh, we're not on Twitch. How do we play on, how do we wait? How do you run it on kick? Amon is running on kick. I forgot, how do you run marbles on kick? Everything is scuffed. Did I scam you guys? If I did, that's even better. That means I owe Messi a race though. No, Yasser is here for the story, so it's okay. This is like... Ya Yasser... Yeah. I have to pick? How are people joining the race? When Yasser is here, it's rated R. How did people join the race? Oh, you can join in the Twitch chat. Yes, just go to Twitch chat. Big brain people.
Uh, no, what I will say is Yas and I got along very well because later on, a nice southern girl came over. Her name was Ivy, tall blonde volleyball player. And Yas or wingman me very well. And he'll remember that lady. He'll remember Ivy, all blonde, must like fit, curvy. And uh, he had her sit down and chatted and wingmaned very, very well. So the story ends in a good way. That was the same trip. Ivy was, was really nice. And as Yasser would say, I blundered again, you know. She's married now. On Twitch, you type in exclamation mark play. We have 17 people. Let's get to 30. Hey, Boop Lord. Ivy's the girl that would call me with a southern accent. Mr. Grandmaster. Called me. Oh, we got chicken pants here. We're not live on Twitch. You just go to the Twitch chat and you type and play. It's not live on Twitch. We're live on fucking Kick, what you're looking at right now. You go to Twitch to type and play and you watch on Kick. Chicken pants. Bong Mi is here. He's going to the game tomorrow and he's supporting the Diamondbacks. Pure Knight has the instructions. And uh, I'm a little hesitant to bet much against the Diamondbacks. There's, yeah. We're at 21 people. Can we get a few more? Yeah, some people practice their, their pasta by uh, in the offline chats. That's where they craft it. Hello, Chess Ninja. Yeah, you're happy because you survived, Keith. You're in a good mood. You avoided the ban. All right, we're starting in 30 seconds. If you want to play, go to the Twitch chat, type in exclamation mark play. This is just traditional marbles. Anson's hard on is playing McNaster, Tim, 
BLM, Ralph, Messi, Marv. We're going to send her in. Yasser is not participating. This is very intimate. Yep, Chess Ninja's in first, Ralph's in second. League and Niv might win another race. Look at that. Bong me! Use the... Oh, no. Off the map. Off the map. Zoom Kerchu and DLM. Top two, top two. Tim and J-Bell are uh, near the back. Two similar guys. Real team money is lurking there. Ralph, Zoomker choose uh, in the lead. I'm catching up. J-Bell is in the back with his bears. With his Div 2 bears. I think Messi Marvin, you're still there. You're still there. We've only had one one uh, DNF and that's the me. But Zoom Kirchu's having a real good race here. Who's I mean this is a huge lead. J Bell strategic DNF! And now Messi Marvin Tim are the ones facing the axe. Wait, Ralph just overtook Zoom. Ralph! Ralph Wiggum! Ralph Wiggum is in first. He's got a nice looking marble there too. Real team money's uh, chasing, but uh, Ralph... Oh! Ralph loses it. But Zoom... He's stuck! The boost! The boost hits Ralph first. And, and they bounce off the map. All of them! It's just Ralph. The only way for Ralph to mess this up is it's impossible. There's no more obstacles. Everyone else got KO'd. Oh, IDNF strategic. Lost Moose, you're going to finish in second. Hansen's hard on fell off. That's why you get Viagra after all, right? But look, well, who we have here? Messi Marvin, strategic DNF. We got Tim. Tim Cannon 25. Tim Cannon. A DNF would be good here. Wow. A DNF has been done. It's going to be Chess Ninja. Chess Ninja in, la in last unless somebody gives us up to Poop Lord 430. You got five seconds. Otherwise, Chess Ninja is facing a ban. Oh, wow. Ralph wins. Chess Ninja finishes in last. And Ralph. What's the judgment? Congratulations, sir. It's only your second race and you've picked up a win. I suppose ban. Okay. You guys know what we do now, right? You go to chess.com. Trial by combat, unless Chess Ninja would like to just take the ban right now. You've never seen Ralph play chess? I have. Ralph actually played in Subscriber Sunday quite a bit. Hello to Crosby87. Ralph is a very good boulderer. We'll see about the chess. Uh, chess Ninja. What is... Are you going to take the ban? Or do you want trial by combat? We scared Yasser away, by the way. That was low energy by him. Okay, chess.com we go. Can you, so Ralph, can you send a challenge? Yeah, can you actually just send a challenge to Chess Ninja? 
Because I'm not on an account with mod privileges. I could log into it, but I'm a bit lazy. But if you can send Chess Ninja a challenge and you get white, I will follow you. Chess Ninja has the same username, I think. And uh, Chess Ninja survived the ban yesterday, but today's a new day. And Ralph's a different executioner. Chess Ninja, you should be receiving a challenge from Ralph Wiggum very soon. They've begun. We have the game here. Let's take it from the top. Scandinavian. Ralph is plucked upon. Now he's giving it back. Wasn't that a free knight? See a free knight here, Boris Broski. You take the free knight, Boris, your queen is hanging. That was a bad entrance, Boris. You came in and you said the dumbest thing. That's okay. You're not here for chess, you're here for Temptation Island. Two bishops for Ralph. Ralph's is 30, 1500. Chess Ninja survived yesterday with a impressive stalemate against a much higher rated opponent. Oh, the pre move. Same time, blacks even material, and they got a solid position here. This ninja's playing pretty well. All they, all he needs is a draw. Ralph, I wonder what his plan is if you trade off all the pieces. This bishop isn't. Amazing. You can... Okay, okay. Bishop versus knight. You're rooting for the underdog? If you're rooting for the underdog, you're not going to get to see a ban, though. Depends if you want a ban or not. Unfortunately, the knight covers the square. I mean, I don't know. Ralph's looking to flag. I see what Ralph's up to. He's just putting time pressure on. Actually, that's pretty good by Ralph. But I'm a little concerned that uh, the pawns are extending a bit too far without king support. And Chess Ninja is looking... Uh, I see it. Chess Ninja's coming. For 30 seconds. Check. Check. Wow. Take a look from Black's perspective. All you need is a draw, but you're down a lot of time.
Holy smokes! That was an impressive endgame by Chess Ninja. Ralph took a while to bring out the king. And Ralph? I didn't implement that rule yet. Yes, the fair play team is going to investigate Chess Ninja. Dr. Lord is on that team. That was, uh, that was a good endgame. You gotta give it to him. Created a pass pawn, activated the king, and maneuver the knight. It means we get no ban, but hey. Test Ninja deserves it. I think Ralph was doing okay earlier. But maybe here would have been a good good time to like bring the king in. Just right here. Keep the pawns flexible. Try to bring the king in the center. It's still not an easy end game. You know, both sides have chances. White, uh, black can try to stop or fix the pawns, so. But the king is always a good piece to bring in. This was a good endgame by, yeah, Chess Ninja. Can I say? This would have been even nastier. Just cause here, Ralph could have played King D2. And then Chess Ninja doesn't have King E3. And you can try to pick up the pawn long term. But you box the king out a little bit. Same with here. King d2 first before taking. Because, yeah, once the king is in front of the pawn, it's over. Okay, we got our night's entertainment. Stream, stream, stream is over. Yasser didn't even say goodbye. Irish exit. Can we run another race before? The race was uh, paid for by Messi Marvin. Oh, Thongmi is going to bed. Good night, Thongmi. Yasser might have had a booty call. And he didn't want to say. Five hour drive to watch the snakes win game three tomorrow. Safe, safe driving. Yeah, so trying to reconquer his favorite coach. He's definitely close to that coach right now. Tim, was that a satisfying one race? We'll resume the speed run. Those intimate races are very risky. It wasn't. Cancel speedrun and play marbles until Temptation Island. I 
thought we mm. If we run marbles for the next few hours, everybody will be banned. By then. I'll even take off tier 3 benefits or something. Because that's too overpowered. H3? I don't see the checkmate. White's, White's winning this now. Why are we watching 16 year olds play chess? Good question. They should be asleep. They're gonna try to win. White's gonna try to flag with a knight. Watch this. Down two seconds, but he's gonna try to win. Look at this. See? Incredible speed. The kids. Night night is just OP. Crazy fast. Hard to compete with the lads these days. Where is the speed run? It's a very slow speed run. Nursing home speed run. Okay, I'm gonna resume the speed run. One second. We can take another marbles break later, if the energy's good. Alrighty. C4, D6, D6 versus everything. E3, not a challenging move, so a lot of options here. I want to grab the center. Um, we'll go e5. I don't get this move at all. But I'm just going to set up the fill door structure that uh, I've been using earlier.
the king. I'm going to go queen d7. With hopes of playing queen h3 next move, and that's a mating net. If you're playing white here, you probably want to move the rook. Not there, because of the bishop. Rookie one would have been better to prepare this. Because here, I can just take. Is that... No? Thank you. Give me all the pieces. But white did delay checkmate. Check. We didn't get the checkmate, so they did a good job there, but uh, we'll take it. Raja Blunder. Hope you do blunder. Play some aggressive e4. Oh, they're doing d6. I'll take the center. One of the more dangerous ways to play against d6 as white is we can use the three pawns. F4, E4, D4, and try to run them down the middle. Like right here, we can take, that just activates my opponent's bishop. I'm gonna go E5, restricting this bishop and restricting the knight. Well, knight C6. I said the goal is to run the pawns down. So we gotta be consistent. D5, see where the knight's headed. If knight B4, we can just harass it with another pawn. I could go E6 next, but that actually opens up the bishop. So I'm more interested in keeping the pawns where they are for the time being. And I'm not sure I'm going to go E6. Not yet. Not yet. I want to make things unpleasant. Check. Open for c6. Got C6. What's what's the trick? Is that defended? Nope. Check. I like giving checks. Meanwhile, again, black is still pretty restricted on the king side, whereas white can just castle. This pawn on e5 is. Being a nuisance. Should we take the rook? What would Hikaru do here? That's what some people are asking. But I'm not Hikaru. I can't come up with those kind of moves. Hikaru would play queen a4. Fine. Queen a4 it is. Back in the knight, which is loose. But now we're not threatening to take the rook because our bishop is pinned in the sense that we'll lose our queen if we... So this is... I think I might be falling for some bait. Yeah, exactly. Now the queen's being harassed. Okay, check. Let's get rid of our loose pieces. Ooh, that's exactly what I want to see. If queen takes, I would have traded probably. But after knight takes, the knight is pinned. Which uh, works very well with e6. And we're gonna pick up, we're gonna pick up a knight. Perfect timing, that's why I withheld it. And instead of taking, I'll castle first. I can take next move, the pin's not disappearing. Thank you for the Hikaru suggestion, Dr. Lord Mayonnaise. 
Now we do have to take, because the knight's no longer pinned after the castle. Okay, I just up a piece. Let's just develop the rest of the pieces. Bishop followed by the knight. Thirty-six seconds, so I'm not going to uh, talk too much here. Just want to bring the pieces out, prepare some moves in advance. Knight g4 or knight g5 is a uh, is an attractive move. We're going fishing. We have a fork. We have a check with smothered mate potential. We do. We do have those ideas. Mm. Check. Turn. Go queen e6. That should force the queens off. And uh, then we just show some good endgame technique and trade everything. Because if queen d8, knight f7 wins material, I can also pick up this pawn. Or after a queen there, thank you for the knight. Let's initiate a trade. Thank you. And uh, yeah, trades are good. I'm just going to activate my rooks. Force the bishops off first. Thank you for the pawn. Bishop can't take because of the pin. Check. This bishop was hanging. That's okay. Check. Hello, Lisa. Good evening. Yeah, got to credit Hikaru for that win, I guess. Don't know what music I want to listen to right now. I don't think I can handle that. I'll go back to Tenet. Oh, chicken pants. I said I'll go back to Tenet. You wrote Tenet. Or in the same wavelength. I, I just saw your message. That's, I'm super sorry. That's, oof. Yeah, chicken pants. I mean, that is, uh, pretty much the worst thing. Hope you can get through it. <sighs> Would you like me to share it? Pretty heavy and very scary. The daughter of of uh, two people that work with chicken pants died in a car accident and the car, car caught on fire. That's the I mean that happened to a classmate of mine in uh, in junior high. And a friend, classmate and friend, but uh, just any parents' worst uh, worst nightmare. Car caught on fire and oof. from the accident. 
Yeah, I, I mean, having to... And that's at work, so... That's, uh... Probably gonna be the biggest challenge. For you. I mean, I assume, like, people kind of, the parents are going to need a, a lot of time off, but there's probably something set up, set up for that, or can be set up. That's got to be the worst feeling, the uh, worst feeling. Real world, real world, hit too hard. Well, chicken fans, I'll be playing some of the speed run, but um, you know, I'm around to chat and so are some other people, but that's uh, absolutely tragic. Especially working in the industry too, where you know can happen. I don't trust myself to drive very much. But it definitely puts things into into perspective. music is scary it is so I generally consider like being in a car one of the more dangerous things the most dangerous thing that I yeah would be a part of obviously compared to flying or other modes of transportation but I haven't been in any serious accidents but it's definitely Like, I've said this, I, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, uh, I don't bike around Toronto very much because cars can hit you, and, uh, then I, yeah, you know people who drive when they drink a bit or, like, yeah, there's just so many variables. But you also can't avoid it. So I'm always in favor of making cities more walkable. Not saying there's blame to go around, but like I like being in cities like Amsterdam where there aren't as many cars. I really like, or London, or New York for the most part, where there might be cars, but it's not like they're driving fast to the highways. And 
driving at night is whatever. That's why, yeah, I don't trust myself very much. It's a very, very delicate thing. So I'm always, always yeah, very in favor of making cities for urban planning because, yeah, it's not a blame thing, but I mean, people could be tired, distracted, whatever, just or have a heart attack or wh whatever it could be. And it's, it's usually not intentional, but yeah, it is. that's generally going to be the riskiest thing, I think, that on a day-to-day -day basis somebody would be uh, dealing with. So I'm, uh, I try to live in uh, commu uh, public transport places. But that's easier said than done for most people. Yeah, like, people are texting these days, like, people are addicted, we're addicted to texting, technology, people in the car, like, I've, I've been in some, the close, yeah, I, I've felt a few times, the closest I've been to dying has been in a car where somebody's been impaired or something, absolutely, so, it hasn't happened much, it's, but, uh, always felt like that was the closest I've been to, to, to dying. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, CPI, I'm, I'm sure you're, you know, I'm sure you'll give them lots of support and love and all the time that's kind of needed. I mean, that's, yeah, losing your, losing your child is, is always the worst. Yeah, I definitely don't trust myself, so. Messy Marvin, thanks for the tier three, by the way, the resub on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. And winter driving is a nightmare. Oof. Winter driving is scary as shit. Not everyone gets the wheels for it, or they can't afford it, or whatever that happens. Wild hacks, yeah, I got a. I'm concerned for wild hacks on his unicycle, but he. Yeah. He doesn't do it during busy times, I think. Yeah, chicken pants were around. No, no worries. You gotta let something out. No worries. We're around. Yeah, that happened happened to, to a friend in school. It's a sad way to go out as well. Because you can think people might be trapped in the car. It's the last moments. It's just like it's just like, yeah, not a it's a bad way. Alrighty, 
Next game. E6. I'm <clears throat> at this level, people are not taking the center, and they probably should be, but it's understandable that they don't. So I'm just gonna use the pawns, develop comfortably, have the system in place, c6, d6, e5. One of my favorite setups. Five. But just because you start off with the first move, whether it's d6 or c6, doesn't mean you can't push the pawn twice. Your opponent's really not taking the center. Sometimes the best move is to simply move the pawn again and grab uh, further, further space, more space. So right here, knight of, knight of three, just gonna go knight of six. Basic threat of e4. Opponent's ignoring it. I'm gonna go e4. Just fork the two pieces, knight's defending it. Knight g5, thank you for the bishop. Just getting good at pawn play is something that's going to help people improve a lot. H6, force the knight back. I probably will go d5 because that opens up this bishop. This bishop already has a path. So bishop f5 or bishop g4, but yeah, I probably will go d5. Don't have to stay passive the whole time. Let's go d5. Up a knight for a pawn. So if there's a trade. Not worried about that. And now my next move, maybe bishop d6, bishop f5. Queen g3 is a slick move. Queen, sorry, queen g6, hitting d3 and g2. Problem is, rook h3 was played. And there's a better move than queen g6 after rook h3. And if you don't see it, I'm telling you, look at the whole board again. Make sure you're understanding the full power of all your pieces because this bishop is long ranged and it can just take it. And now that the rook is gone, what else is hanging now? This pawn. Cheers. And all of a sudden just up a full rook. So for me when I do the speed runs, yeah, like I might win some of these games just because People hang material, but try to get the good opening either way. But I'll take the free pawns while they're there. And I'll trade when I can. Check. And trade. And I want to keep trading, so I'm going to go bishop b4, develop, and prepare to trade some more. Just basic trades, as they're even trades, don't have to think much. Um, why don't we push the H-pawn? It's a passer. Push. Oh, that's an unfortunate move. Now the bishop is stuck. Push. We're going to keep pushing. Rook's going to come defend. But now, now the rook is just passive. We've contained that rook. I just need to bring these other pieces out. So let's activate this rook. What's the best move to do that? Should we play knight d7? Queenside castle, bring the rook in? Or is there another way to activate the rook? There's another way. On to a5. Hoping to initiate a takes b4 and use the a file. Yes, a5. Good job, Lucas. Incorporate this rook, and rooks like open files. Here we go. That's a good move. But I'm going to take this pawn first, because it's with check. And the problem is, where can the king go? It can only go on the back rank. Once the king goes on the back rank, what's the next move? Let's think ahead. The king has to go back, can't go forward, so three options. What can we do with our newly activated rook? We can take this pawn, but I see something funny here. The king prevents this rook from covering a1, so 
It's gonna grab grab an additional check. And pre-move the rook. I'm not very fun. I just win material and trade it off. But keep it simple. Keep it simple. Good game. Uh, special hello to MapRail. Hello, MapRail. Sorry, I had some guests this week. They just left today, so looking forward to catching up with you. Oh, MapRail. Cheers. We're just starting a new speed run. I'm flagging my opponents. Yes, I'll play Rainy Night. Sure. Okay. We're playing up here. Go D6. 900. Highest rated opponent to date. Knight C3. We're seeing some better moves already. I'm going to go D D6 E5. Knight D7. The knight doesn't stay here long term. It just supports the center. Because I'm going to... I have the igloo, right? The igloo over here. Put the queen. I don't want to take. That just gives white a great square for the knight to jump in and harass everything. If, if, if there's a recapture, I'll take back with the pawn so that the pawn here can cover any knight squares. Bishop g5, how would I harass you first? How about... Now I develop. I got in this move for free. There should be seven in castles. It's a compact setup, but one of the benefits is sometimes when you have a compact setup, people overplay it and they, they hang something while they push you back. It's a move I like to see, it's just not very threatening. How about knight c5 now? We got two knights attacking e4. Opponent does not register that. So I'll take the pawn. Thank you, thank you. And that's a center pawn. Now I attack the bishop. Trading is good, but we also have to learn how to harass effectively. And I'm actually going to try that right now. I'm going to throw in this check. Because while my knight's temporarily on e4, it's being attacked right now. It controls some some squares close to uh, close to the king. Uh, and let's say right here, I could just trade everything and play up a pawn in the end game. But I'm going to do something else with this pin. I'm gonna get rid of the darks for a bishop. And I'm gonna put pressure on the pin. Just in case white castles, I can take the knight. Right now I can do it. It's an even trade. But if white castles, or they play f4, well, let's take. Can I take this? Is there a trick? Check. I can put my bishop here or I can swing my king over. Yep. That looks like a free pawn. Rook here, we can trade because we're up two pawns, but the king is on e1. I think there's a better move than trading. If we're not going to trade and we want to checkmate, what should we do? We can go g5 and defend the bishop, but white's king is wide open. Bishop g3, good job, that's right in the loof. Check. You got a block with the rook or move the king up. Let's continue. Continue the initiative. We can castle now or develop with check. Check again. Now the knight can block, but white's. Oh, high energy. King e3. Let's flush the king out. The further the king goes up the board while I have all these heavy pieces, the higher chance of a checkmate. 
So let's go check. Forces the king here. Right? And then how do we try to checkmate? What should we do now? We could go f5. White's going to sacrifice. We don't have to make things hard. Wait! The queen's hanging! Oh, I didn't see that. However... I, dude, I, I don't know what... I'm sorry. I, I should have taken that queen. I was... I'm going for checkmate. Well, I'll make it up. I did not realize... I forgot the queen was hanging. Because I didn't expect this move. Don't support these guys. Check. Alrighty. But in truth, what I did is even better. Because after check, if the king went back, queen e3 or rook e3 would have been checkmate. So it was a strategic decision. And after king f5, what is the move for black? The most efficient move. It's not g6 check. White can play queen takes g6 and keep sacrificing. King can't go back. We'll go rook e5. We got a nice checkmate in the middle of the board. No more squares. Yes, rook e5. So it worked out. Yes. Sacrificing the bishop was a... Maybe I got a brilliancy. No brilliant moves. No great moves. Never mind that. Whatever. Here we go again. E4. Let's go d6. e5. This is a standard setup for white. It can kind of transpose to an e4, e5 opening. But in the Spanish, your knight is usually on c6. When I play some of the d6 systems, I actually put my knight on d7. But you can pick and choose. This is just a very flexible structure, though. Compact, but uh, easy to play. Although we're going to get deeper in the opening as the rating progresses. So when you have knights that are tethered like this, in case white recaptures, they take on f6, I'm going to take back with a knight. Because this knight, it doesn't have like massive squares over here. I'd rather just put it on f6 and not deal with figuring out how to reroute it. But b3 was just played. So spot the problem with b3. The problem with b3 is it really, the good part is it really secures this bishop, right? So if I go knight b6, I can take the bishop. It's just going to be an even trade. There's two pawns defending it. That bishop is super well guarded in the context of uh, pieces attacking the bishop problem is those pawns also block the bishop's escape squares so the bishop's trapped if i attack it with a pawn if i attack with a piece it's not trapped because that's just an even trade but you don't want to give up your bishop for a pawn does that change anything no and I, what did i say i'm going to recapture the knight so this bishop op opens up Not panicking here. This bishop is trapped regardless. And if you're in white's shoes, you want to get the most for your trapped piece. You should probably take here. You take here, you get two pawns for a piece. Almost full material back. Take on f7, like what my opponent did. You just get one pawn. And to make matters worse, you activate my rook. Sure, you get this move to harass it. But now my rook all of a sudden has some more potential in the f file i mean okay this was high energy I, I respect it but when we took back with our knight on f6 i said that opens up the bishop so thank you for the for the knight thanks for walking into the bishop and what do we do when we're up a lot of material trade take one for one and offer a queen trade one for one we do one for one trades and white will be left with nothing 
But if they don't trade, I just gained a move for free. But the trade is perfect. Thank you, thank you. And what's the next move here with this nice pawn setup? I like b4. I like this move. Taking the knight off that square. Now this is loose. Okay, you're attacking this pawn. I could take this first, but I don't even need to do one for one. Because I can just go b5. This is still going to hang. Where is this knight headed? Knight b6. We can take the pawn on a2. I like that move. It's a full free pawn. But I need to investigate this knight. Is this knight really really allowed to just come into black's position without any support? Maybe there's something else there. So what do you do? Rook takes a2 or can we look for something better? Rook a2 is more than enough. But I'm a bully. So I'm going to go rook a6 and ask where is this knight going? Rook b8 would have done something similar as well. Because my pawns are placed here on purpose. I'm taking away all the squares. And then I'm going to be up three pieces, and then I can stop talking and just autopilot. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Got the knight defending it. Oh. There's a rule in chess. On the song. Thank you. That's a free pass pawn. Appreciate it. Now I'm going to slide this rook behind the pass pawn. I'm going to take this free pawn. And I'll have world domination. I'll be wealthy. Rook here. Rook here. Push. And profit. And my opponent's disconnected. You demoralize your opponents when you force them to trade everything off. Because they don't like that. I didn't trap that knight. You've seen it before. And a one knight can fork all your pieces and just start taking stuff if you're playing badly. I got rid of that knight, so there's no more hope. There you go. They made bad trades the whole game. Negative trades by losing their pieces. All right, we got white here. E4 has been very effective. I'm just playing open. Oh, I got aborted right away. Okay. Karimi from Iran. Let's continue with this uh, E4 fun. So we've played the King's Gambit once. I've been playing um i've been playing the uh danish gambit but let's try something more standard just knight f3 attacking the pawn bishop c4 developing the bishop uh, and black's going for something solid okay let's go d4 let's challenge the center so should we take back i think we should i could go queen here then g6 doesn't seem amazing but I'm in the center first and the good thing about the queen here right now is it's not like there's no knight on c6 to harass it this is this is a move do I want to trade queens early good question I will allow it but only if they trade first so that my bishop gets to a good square. Now, knight f knight e7 is a move I want to see. Why is that? Because now if I trade queens, there's no knight to recapture, and black is weak in their pawn structure. There's double pawns. And something else looks funny. Can I go fishing with knight b5? I'm attacking this. I'm attacking that. And... You can you can play you can you can move your king like that but is this hanging on f7 that's kind of juicy let's take that there we go we're up upon don't say anything too bad here 
So I gotta make sure I don't uh, forget the, you know, principles. Castle to get the rooks involved, get the king to safety. And now, because I'm up a pawn, I'm very okay with trades. I chose the queenside castle because the rook immediately lines up on the same file as the king. Kingside castle isn't as efficient. Alright, I said I would trade. Let's offer another trade. Another trade. That's a good move to avoid it. Okay, let's bring the final piece into the game, the rook chilling on h1. To be honest, I totally forgot I could take this. I should have uh, should have caught that. Don't support these guys. And uh, I missed my opportunity, but that opened up something else. Same thing as the previous game. I see the pawns on c6 and a6. This bishop has no safe squares if it were to be attacked. I'm going to just poke it with the pawn. Black played king d7 to defend this, but now the bishop is trapped. And it's trapped regardless, so I could take it right now, but I'm actually just going to defend the pawn in the center because it's trapped the next move as well. Okay, okay. That's, that's an energetic move. Can I take? Or there are some tricks here. Okay, I'm going to take the bishop. I'm scared. Now the rook wants to go here. Let's take this pawn. I got 13 seconds. I didn't realize I've been talking too much. Let's trade. ASAP. Check. Check. Remove the free bishop. Trap the rook. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, he didn't see that. I'm going to pre-move because you're going to sack the rook for the bishop. That's the most material you can get back. And now I'm just going to push this pawn. And make a queen. There we go. There we go. This was a sneaky move. King C1. Bet you didn't see that. Masterclass Ian. Good luck. Go ahead f6 and uh, tickle the spawn. Some people like being tickled. That is, is that a free pawn? Knight takes pawn. Is there a defender? I don't see it, so I'm gonna grab it. Don't be afraid of ghosts. And if sometimes you take a pawn and it backfires, you learn from that. But you gotta be willing to to, to take it. Alrighty. Sure. Figure we can trade. And this is an example where I play d6 to start off the game. I'm up a pawn, but white's ahead in development. I'm not afraid to play d5 and spend that extra move just to close this bishop. I don't have to keep the pawn on d6 just because that was my first move, right? Okay, we want to complete development so I can go e6 and castle, which I like. But the only issue is it, does, it blocks the bishop. So maybe I'll move this bishop and then go e6 and then i castle without blocking both okay try that i like what white's doing though if you're going to be down a pawn you need to attack your opponent before they can castle uh, try to try to get me while my king is still stuck here while my pieces so bishop here knight here or knight here would have been more challenging those would have been good moves Ship here looks a little slow. Not a bad thing, but I was worried about some other opportunities. Um, oh, 
Here we go. Grab that. That just helped me. Thank you. I got the bishop pair. I got a nice center. They touched this pawn, the rook hangs. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Well, we're up pawn. So I'm going to offer a trade and be real boring, real technical. Trade a rook. You want to trade queens? You don't want to trade queens. Okay, let me tickle this pawn. I gained a move for free. Okay, I will take that pawn. Thank you very much. And now there's a trade. That doesn't make sense. I'm up two. I'm up two pawns now. So what do we have to deal with here? Let's move the rook to the A file so we can start pushing this. Oh, we can't go A5 because there's two defenders. Okay, if we can't go A5, what other parts of the board can we improve? I think we can push either the E or the C pawn. No, because they're, they're still useful. Oof. I did not see this move. That's actually a good move. Got me. I'll retreat. Now that's the move I wanted to see. Because now this is no longer defended. Thank you. Oh! A pawn is pinned. Bishops go backwards, don't forget. Thank you. Yay! Yay because I won, and yay because Maloof subscribed on kick, and Badkins came in and gifted 10 subs. You don't need to do that, Badkins. We're grateful for you uh, either way, but thank you for the 10 kick subs. Appreciate that, Badkins. Very tasty. Oh, Badkins. Just uh, chilling out. Doing the speed run. We did uh, one round of marbles and people were satisfied with that. They loved it. They said one round is all I need. So we're back to the, the speed run. Everyone was really satisfied. Let's continue. Lab 200. All right. E4, the Scandinavian. This is going to be a fun one. They're going to confront the center. Let's take and try to harass the queen. Because the queen recaptures. But when the queen's out early, it can be harassed by the minor pieces. So knight develops a tempo. Queen here. I don't want to block with the queen. And I don't recommend you, you to do that either. Because if the queen is a piece that can easily be attacked. I'm kind of justifying the play if I offer a queen trade. I'm actually just going to block with a bishop. So I can bring my knight out and continuously attack the queen. Knight f3. We want to can mm. let's go i have three pieces developed and the queen is just there let's go d4 maybe i can attack the queen again and i'm just gaining time gaining space every single sequence black is burning a lot of time moving this queen around Queen there. Okay. Okay. Well, let's set a trap. They want to take this pawn. I could castle. Castle and defend it. I could go rook g1, which I don't like because then I can't castle. h3 they'll take. But what if I want white to... I want black to take the pawn. I want to trap the queen. If I want to trap the queen, I need to create an environment where I need to look ahead and think, if that queen takes the pawn, I can trap it. So if we went h3 right away, queen takes g2, and I went rook g1, the queen would almost be trapped, but it can take the h3 pawn. And if h3, queen takes g2, and I go rook h2, 
The queen is almost trapped, but almost is enough because it can go back to g6. It still has one safe square. If I go knight e5, hitting the queen, takes on g2, then I go bishop f3, the queen has h3. I got something else in the store. Knight g5. I'm fishing. I'm attacking the queen, and I wanted to take on g2. What did I calculate that my opponent didn't? I've taken away the h3 square. I've taken away mobility going back on the g-file. But I have to actually attack the queen. Bishop f3. The rook is defended. The queen is attacked. The queen doesn't have an escape square there. The knight is also defended. So why the queen is really not generally a good piece to just move around in the opening. And oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you for the queen. It was worth the time invested. Now it's my turn to attack. Might be five. Let's go for this. Pawn on c7, go for a little fork. Check. And we're picking up everything. I'm going to take this bishop. Everything is available. Let's bring another piece in. The bishop's already developed, so let's take with the queen. Check! Check. I'm trying to find a forced checkmate. Check. We'll get there in a moment. Pin. There we go. There we go. Checkmate. They want a rematch. Can't do that. You have a question about uh, it, Badkins? Which question did you have? Hello, Jason. Hey, Cassidy. There is no more Vegas plan, Jason. They canceled that event. So Toronto is the only meetup scheduled. So Badkins and the Scandinavian. We attack. I just I just attack the queen with my pieces. And pawns. It's a work of art. Queen C8 was checkmate. You're asking me why Queen C8 wasn't checkmate? It was checkmate. No, there's not a name for this trap line. I'm just punishing uh, early queen moves. You're correct though, queen c8 is mate. What I should have played here is bishop f3 to get the knight check. Alrighty. Zombo, good luck. E4, E5. We'll start with knight f3. They're doing d6 as well. Go d4. And I'm not going to take back with the queen because then my queen gets attacked. I'd rather just take back with a piece. Develop. And let's develop with a threat. It should be five. Put two attackers on that. Well done, well done. Good defense. Takes away some of the fun. Fine. I'll just castle. 
I can take back the knight or I can throw in a check. I'll just take back the knight. The bishop's still defended, so... I'm not down anything, and the, on the positive, I am developed first. Whether I can turn that into something is a different story, but I'm going to try. I could move my knight back, but this, with e4, I'm pretty aggressive. I'm going to be it, high energy, which means I'm going to play e5 and just try to break through immediately while my knight's here. I'm going to throw a counter punch. That's exactly what I wanted. Because now I take on e5, check. Now my knight and my queen both coordinate on the c7 square. Check. And voila. Picked up a pawn. I'm going to pick up a rook next. And uh, punished black pretty early on. Thank you. Boom. Go e4. Yeah, my next move would have been here. That's right, Lucas. You are supplying me the moves. One more. Agent of Shield. Good luck. Everyone's playing e5. Good habits. Go knight f3. e6. Super common. Let's try bishop c4 here. If knight f6, oh, they're covering it. They're covering knight g5. Hmm. I was hoping if knight f6, I was going to go knight g5. But now we go d4. Develop, it develops our bishop, puts pressure on the center. And this is perfect. Knight f6. So if I take, take, I can trade the queens. And this pawn is loose. So why don't I try this? Well, well, well. I have a couple options here that I like. This knight's a little loose. Queen d5 is one move. It threatens checkmate and it attacks the knight. That's one of them. The other move order related to that is I can take check, king takes, and then go queen d5. I win a pawn in that position, and I mess up black's king. But the one that has a higher ceiling is going for checkmate right away. Queen d5. That's the higher ceiling. We're not interested in the pawn. Let's go for checkmate. We're trying to win the, the knight. There is a decent move for black here. Well done. If I take the knight, pawn to d5 is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. I would rather not have dealt with it, you know, rather not deal with it. But I could, this pawn is also hanging, so I have this option too. And you have to look at all the options. I'm going to go for this. I'm still attacking the knight, and now I'm attacking the rook. And the rook is... Is worth something. So let's do it. Let's take the rook. We want a rook for for the for our bishop. And what my opponent forgot here is my queen still acts like a bishop. I can just all the way back. I can take this pawn, but the knight actually hangs. Let's double check. Is there any trick? Don't see it. Is it defended? Nope. There we go. Bishop d5 deals with the hanging bishop, but gotta look for loose pawns here. Check. And I'm a bully, so I'm actually gonna take this pawn as well, because I'm hitting the rook. I'm already up a rook and two pawns, so more than enough to win, and I'm down to 40 seconds. So probably it's time to start trying to figure out ways to trade. This is actually a good move, but it wasn't played. I'll take the rook, thank you. Check. Now this bishop joins the party. Take this pawn, hit the bishop. D5. 
You have a check. That I'll just block with the knight. Which develops even more. And I'm still threatening this. Trades are okay. There's not enough material to harass my king here. This move is covered. So. Inside castle. Prepare the artillery. Bring the other rook in. Rook on h1 is going to slide over. Check. Knight cannot take. And we got the resignation. Yay. Here we go. Hello to Orangi. Are you going to donate and kick subs DLM for Orangi's favorite song? Is that what you're waiting for? Hello, a mad chess kid. How many subs for Aranji? Aranji doesn't need subs, but Dr. Lord likes to torture him. They have their own dynamic. Low map rail. Map rail still lurking. Do I have COVID? I don't have COVID, but the house got hit with a little bit of something, so I have some allergies and my throat is fine. I don't have a cough. I don't have any sore throat, but been a little bit off this week. Uh, I have to speak to Mapriel about uh, getting him over uh, Aranji. Yes. Adkins, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you, thank you. There is something going around, yes. I will speak to Maprail and try to convince. Aranji's the best towards him. Sorry, Dr. Lord. Perfect. Thank you for five kick subs. I'll make sure that uh, Aranji gets some fine snooze with your, your five kick subs. Some of the best nicotine pouches. And we hit 800 as well. You're a naked moderator here? Yes. You have to go on desktop and sub. We've been trying some new TV shows as well, Mapreel. We've been doing 90 Day Fiancé, Temptation Island USA was great. Uh, we're doing Temptation Island Spain now. Uh, and I have some other shows as well. If you're in Toronto, you are always uh, welcome to uh, have a puck. I got I got lots ready for you, Badkins. No worries. That's a guarantee. Unless Trevor takes them all. After King C7, I'm going to go take. Bring in the other rook. And then this one. But everything wins. Did Tim fall asleep? Low energy Tim. Marbles now. Marbles has to be earned realty money. I ran a bunch of marbles on Saturday as a as a gift. Hello, Drew. Cheers to you. You just spent too much time in Bangkok. It's a place I'd love to visit. I will at some point. Yeah, I think Tim fell asleep. No surprise. Ladies of the Night sounds exciting. I've had a stomach bug all week, actually. that's a, I don't know where I got that from. Something's been off. I can't hold food down.
Sorry, I just, I'm just investigating something. Investigating. Have you been to Thailand, uh, there, uh, Badkins? I could see you enjoying it. Oh, the Thailand conversation really activated everybody. Activated, yeah. It's good. If I can't find a girlfriend, I might have to go to Thailand at some point. The rooftop bars, I've, 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 I've heard, yes. There's a Soho house in Bangkok now, so that's uh, that also makes it easier for me to, to go there and, and network and uh, get some of the events in. All right, I'll uh, I'll say this now. Dark Lord Mayonnaise got <laughs> so uh, Keith's fiance was very angry yesterday, and I had to explain, or Keith had to explain to her that Dr. Lord Mayonnaise was just a troll online, and that Keith was not going to risk his engagement over a game of marble. She she was in the chat apparently, and. You, you made your mark. You made your mark, and uh, we had to have a discussion about who Doctor Lord Mayonnaise is, and that uh, yeah, Keith was not going to break any engagements, and these are just random internet trolls. So, yeah, that's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. That's why. I, that's why I can't have a girlfriend. Like, people just say stuff and use, yeah, like, somebody is a guest for 10 minutes and boom, they get in trouble. Because Dr. Lord Mayonnaise is trying to get Keith to risk his engagement over marbles. And he just spent a lot on the ring. Who is Dr. Lord Mayonnaise? And then I have to explain and. He's harmless. It's tough. I shouldn't have told Dr. Lord that, but uh, probably 
probably made his night. His comments hitting hard. If you're engaged or married, maybe you don't want to show up on stream. Chat can be ruthless. Haranji, do women ever tell you you're not romantic enough? Or are you, are you fairly romantic? Like, with a lifestyle and just going through stuff like... A little like not open enough or I don't know just not providing that like whirlwind romance you ever get told that or you don't have that issue Okay, yeah, not a whirlwind by the traveling. The traveling part's easy, but let's say in person or just like, just overall approach and attention given or whatever vibes are provided. I, get, I do get told I'm cold distant initially and don't come on strong enough. Okay. So you get told that and I think I'm worse than that. So I'm, yes, I, uh, I don't love bomb people either and I never have. But I, yeah, this is, this is, um, yeah, this is what, uh, this, yeah, this is a very, very common feedback. Very common feedback. No, I do the traveling thing. I mean, whatever, I meet people, like, that's very easy for me. I'm spontaneous, like traveling, I'll do a hotel, I'll do a week with you. Love, and I really, it's really a, a common criticism and uh i'm just curious like not providing what the ladies are looking for i don't fall easily and even if i do it takes a long it takes a long time and i don't know i'm just But like it's a it's a criticism and it's like I mean I'm pretty fucked up there I think compared to the average person I've never been like that and I could work on it but it's 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 tricky it's very it's not natural at all for me Adkins you're ready to marry a woman if she looks you in the eye with the smirk at the airport I believe it you're a passionate guy Go out on your shield. I can't be like TJ either. That's like so foreign for me. But it works for some people and for some circumstances. Yeah, TJ, we, 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 yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean I'm not interested though. I just have a different way. And it takes me some time. I have to sniff around a bit. I have a very long time scale. It takes me like six months to a year often to be like quite interested, like to get become interested in a long term capacity where it's like I would like I, I develop like feelings like strong, strong feelings, not a, not attraction. Attraction's easy, physical attraction, whatever, emo mental or intelligence. But like, yeah, I don't know. It really takes me a long time. And not everyone has that time scale. 
where a lot of people don't want to put up with that time scale. So what do you do there? And yeah, the distance is like, how, how can you just produce that over text, right? If there's a distance, it's like, it's hard to fake it over text or improve that. Like, it's like, like what, what do you want there, right? And I just can't like, it's not, we're not making progress. We're just sustaining until we see each other in person again. You like it when they're attractive and not liberal, and then I love them. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. Calgary is an easier place for me to find. Uh, yeah, Cal Calgary is Calgary's pretty, pretty good for that. I'm equal opportunity. But if you like Trudeau, I'll make fun of you. We can hook up, but I'll, I'll make fun of you. Good night. Yeah, I'll, uh, it's fun. No, not exactly to appear, but it's still interpreted a bit similarly, but not exactly. The, uh, the church or religion has a stronger foothold in, in the definition in the U.S. But otherwise, still similarity. Yeah, I like I like a nice ass, absolutely. But there's lots of nice asses. I won't just go for the biggest ass. That's what Dr. O did. He found a girl with ass implants in Barcelona. Like, I'm not into that. No, I'm not trying to like, come on. It's not, it's, you're fit, you, you got a nice lower body, that's fine. I'm not trying to find the biggest ass in the world uh, going to Latin clubs or, or hip hop clubs or, or yeah, ass implants. I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking about, that. find lots of attractive people physically. That's not a big issue. That's not the issue. It's that long-term attract uh, attraction or sh displaying like, yeah, falling for somebody that takes me longer than most people. Yeah, face, face is the most important, for sure, for long-term partners. For me, that's always been. It doesn't equals this, it's not equals the same. But you'll find quite a few similarities But it's not, the U.S. is a lot more like fucked up because people can switch very easily. People don't have like strong party. 
affiliations. You're not committed to a party in Canada. Like, we're not card-carrying members for the most part. People don't care. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I'd be the favorite to win the Women's World Champion. Yes. I would be the... I would be the odds-on favorite to be the women's world champion if I switched. Yeah, I would, yes. I mean, realty money... Come on now. Can't pretend you know something about chess. You can pretend with Czech Manorov that you guys have a rivalry, but... Can't talk about serious chess. Judith Polger doesn't play. She's a bit older now, but she's she's uh, she doesn't play. Ho Yi Fan doesn't really play. And yeah, it's too strongest. Don't play in the women's world championship cycle. You definitely fall in the category of those looking for third world country women. Oh, I gotta refresh. I got DC. Sorry about that. I get it. I get it. I'm sh I mean, uh. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Supply and demand. I can't really do it myself but i get why people do it canada no we're not third world i mean no canadian women are pretty chill very chill actually i like canadian women and most of my like yeah I, I make fun of canada a fair amount i like canadian women quite a bit for the most part so i would I would, ideally, I'd be with the Canadian women living in the U.S. Like that would be good. A lot of my and a lot of my exes are Amer or dual or live in the U.S. So, Kevin Love married a Canadian woman, a basketball player. A lot of nice. We have lots of nice ladies. Oh, ladies. I'm not the guy to ask for that, Badkins. Uh, sorry. No connections there. You're into the uh, Russian accent, eh? Strong Eastern European style. You're into that. You want to get spanked a bit? You want some attitude? Want some bite? Well, you have your answer then, DLM. Got your answer. You'll take Lisa too? Lisa from our channel? Trying to date some of the viewers? You could, I don't. Some people are in relationships from Chespa. I try not to influence that. If it happens, it's great. Sounds like you know the answer, DLM, based on the question that you asked. Yeah.
I'm just inebriated. Cheers. I'm not drinking tonight, but... Cheers. Sunday night energy. I respect it. Some serious blitz matches. At this hour, it's not very common. You have to find one person and just go the whole way. You have to be monogamous. Because the pool's pretty dry. I mean, Toronto's a pretty big city, pretty international. So if people come to our uh, event in December and you are single, I mean, Toronto's a big city and there's a lot of immigrants, ethnic girls, and also there's Canadian flavor. Like it's, but it's a big city. It's a big, big market. And uh, you know, definitely you'll be in places where, you know, there, there's numbers. So DLM is not going to be attending, he's finding some excuse, even though he knows he's not supposed to have a girlfriend, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a city with, uh, with opportunities. Yeah, yeah, we're December 15th and 16th, chess.com is supposed to announce it this upcoming week, Badkins. So, uh, stay tuned. Yeah, like Trevor will be here, Skeg is probably will be here, some of the boys cuz. I think a lot of people are planning on attending. Yep. Yep. Ralph's confused by the moves. Yeah, there's a lot of intermezzos. A lot of intermezzos there. Who won't be here is Keith, because Dr. Lord Mayne has got him in trouble. So, no more Espra House visits for him. Because of the nasty chat.
Hey Divitox. Does this mean Keith won't invite you to the wedding? He has to meet you first. Uh, you, you'll like Keith's views on things, so you guys could get along. Am I accepting challenges right now? No. I'm looking for a wife. Keith, you can't get married because you still made a chess ninja in the Marvel's band match. Can White stop this? No. This is losing. You can push and slowly... Yeah, yeah it's... it's it, you, I don't know why Black didn't push there, but it's kind of weird. There is some really bad technique there. People who chat on chess.com are so weird. It's always been like that. The weird it's like the weirdest. More than Twitch. It's all it's always been it's just like it really is like a fucking little dungeon there. I've taken RVK to, to Cowboys. I've taken him to the ranch. Not Ram Ranch. What's the plan? I could go really late. This week, Amon and I are probably going to stream quite a bit. I definitely am. Last week, I didn't stream it enough. I was a bit under the weather, and we had a buddy over, so I was working on some other things. But uh, it's Sunday night, so I don't want to mess up everybody's sleep schedule. I just wanted to chill and say hi. I would have chilled more yesterday, but there was drama and other things happening. It was chaotic. It still is chaotic. Hey, Kingly. Yeah, Kingly uh, from, yeah, there we go. Kingly from uh, the Twitch band. Yep. Game over. Is Kinley the guy who couldn't ban? Well, you're a strong player. You should have a good memory. You tell me. You tell me, Realty Money. They're talking about Islam in the chat. Yes. No, not the fighter, the religion. I want to I wanna do more of the speedrun. I swear I have this random bug, stomach bug. I don't know where I got it from. But it's fucking randomly hitting.
We can do some GeoGuessr. Let me just investigate. Are there any like 20 minute maps on marbles or 30 minutes that we can just check later? A death race? A 15 minute map. I'm just gonna experiment. You have to write play in Twitch chat. You can't write on kick. You gotta go to our Twitch page. Click on the chat button and type in exclamation mark play. This is just for, we're just experimenting. See what happens. I'm gonna alt tab after. So we're not gonna watch the whole time. Ralph doesn't want to get banned. So there's seven people. Hanson's hard on. A few. There's eight. This is just a test one. You don't have to you won't get banned, Ralph. I'm just testing it out. Oh Nicola's lurking. See, we didn't know Nicola was here, but there he is. In the marbles race. Hello, Nicola. Maybe we will have to have some stakes added. Maybe I've changed my mind. Beat a Vanquish, Banzai Gaming's there. Okay, now this is getting sweaty. Salty's in there. You have to write in the Twitch chat, Adkins, not on kick. Which might be hard while inebriated. Oh, there's some strong players showing up now. Now we might have to add some stakes. But the heavy hitters. Go to the Twitch chat on Chesspra. Not Hikaru's chat. It doesn't work if you're in Hikaru's chat. You gotta go to twitch.tv slash chesspra. Type in exclamation mark play. Nikola represented Chesspra very well in Germany. He ended up scoring half a point more than GM Hansen. It's... It's... it's, it's he scored a lot more than me. It's a fair comment. 19 people. We're checking out the late night individuals. Mr. Keem is there. That also always warms the heart. You can't type online. You just go to chessbro.tv, click on the chat tab, and type in exclamation mark play salty. Thanks for the 55 month resub. And be pwned. Thank you for resubbing with your Prime on Twitch. Thanks for the Twitch subs as well. Appreciate it. 21 people. It's very intimate. You can type in exclamation mark play. I'll give people a few more minutes, and then we'll try out a 15 minute race. This should be a good position for white. Black's gonna stabilize with like here, here, but I th white's king is safe and uh, development's a little bit superior. Should be something there. 
Should be something. We have 22 people in the race, 23, 15 minutes, 1-5. Queen A5 is a move I want to play. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That means my opponent, that means uh, Schwerz is playing well. He's figuring out Queen A5. Queen A5 is a big move. It's an ambitious move. I don't know if it works or not, but we gotta try. Queen check, king here, bishop takes, knight at that. I like what's being done here. Twenty-four people in the race. Six more spots. Twitch.tv slash chessbra, click on the chat, exclamation mark, play. Maybe Mr. Keem's not even here. He joined the race, but he's not even here. Hello, Mr. Keem. He didn't say hi. I couldn't picture him lurking. Oh, you are here. Oh, Keem. Late night energy. I was just saying that to, to test. You're doing schoolwork. Got it, got it. Alright, we'll start it with 24 people then, momentarily. Marbles is good for schoolwork. Alright, we're starting it. We're gonna... What's the thing you press, Ralph? Auto follow? Is it spacebar? The one? Thank you! Can I just run a marble stream and not do anything for like 10 hours? It's a 15 minute race, so you have a good start. But long ways to go. The world record is 13 minutes and 47 seconds. I can't know. If, we, if I zoom out, I have to be here. Then I have to be active on the mouse. There's no like... There's no like... God mode where I can just... I could? Wait, how do I do it? What do I do? How do I just see the whole course? Like, do I keep going up? Eventually, this will move past. Yeah, what happened to Keem? Big Vicky. Early elimination. This is uh, new content. If you're watching this to improve at chess, you're at the right place. Cool map though, eh? Pretty map. Prophylaxis, I gotta move the cam. Oh, 
I gotta refresh the page. We on chess.com TV still? Yes, excellent. Go me. Queen G3. We're trying to automate the stream. Exactly. Exactly. Automation is always the goal. The update is Chess Bra is in first or second first for the subs go back up mr keem somehow is in last besides lucas eves i don't know what happened to the marble we'll check back Rook and knight versus queen would be very winning for the queen, especially with the pass pawn and the loose king. Half of us DNF'd? No, nope. according to this, only one person's DNF. You're all clustered though. Well, I'm, I'm not always pushing the F-Pawn because that's like a King's Indian style. The F-Pawn gains space, but it weakens your King. So there's different ways of playing. But the F-Pawn is like looser and riskier. That's a King's Indian style. Like, you don't need to use your F-Pawn in most openings in chess. The Sicilian, or whatever. Like, it's just like, there's different ways to approach the center. Like, think about it from White's perspective. How many openings do we use our F-Pawn... Even then, it's like, you know, it protects the king and you can expand on the queen side without risking any king safety. Oh, Chess Ninja is in last. See Chess Ninja in last place. He's stuck. We're halfway through the map. Salty, have you been enjoying the show? The John Wick series, The Continental? We're just chilling, Badkins. You don't have to understand anything. We're just all just chilling together, wondering why we're awake. 
It's a collective. Yasser sent an email to Amon and I this evening. The subject is blessed. Blessed are the cowboys for they bring everlasting joy to their followers. All you need is a little faith. Good night, fortunate people. Yasser. He is a fucking troll. The show fell off. That's why I haven't started watching it. I put it on for Salty, but because I'm a John Wick fan, I'll get triggered potentially. Not because it needs to follow a book or anything, just that, you know, I don't want to have negative feelings or watch a spinoff that is worse than the, I, I might just make me bitter or something. It could be, for late night watching, it sounds like it could still be worth an attempt. Salty's our, our tester. Salty's our tester. He's a uh, people comfy. Where's everybody? Where's the front pack? Follow DLM. Ralph and DLM are really uh, touching each other here. Whoa! Sam, you, did you just wake up? Or come home from a date? Wow. Welcome. Dark Lord was only saying good things about you.
Hello, Luchaco. We're running a 14-minute marbles race. It's in the final minute. So, is Mr. Keeman first? It's a race to the finish. Uh-oh. Ralph Wiggum. Ralph is back to the lead. Ralph. Mr. Keem's close, Vita Vanquish. But uh, Ralph. Is Ralph going to break the world record? He's got a chance. 30 seconds. Oh, this is going to fuck people. Ralph. Oh, DLM fell off. Both the accounts fell off at the same time. Mad Warrior is gone. Beat of Anguish. Hanson's hard on. Tapir Knight, Lost Moose, Ralph. There's a big group here. There's a cluster. Who's going to break through? Who's going to break through? Algu? Oh, Nicola! What's with Nicola's speed here? What the hell? Nicola came from nowhere, but then got stuck. Algu? Is it going to be Algu? Is he going to make the jump? He just got yeeted. What? He just got fucked. He's dead. Only Tapir Knight has stuck the landing. Algu got stuck and fell. Hanson's hard on Lost Moose. Tapir Knight is at the turn at the end. To Pure Knight, who wins? Didn't make the world record, but not too bad. He didn't land, unfortunately. Chest Ninja DNF'd. Lucky him. Banzai Gaming is going to be the last placing sub. There's no one else left. Is it going to be Banzai Gaming? Oh no, it's Mr. Keem. Mr. Keem just landed. He landed! He wasn't supposed to land! It's gonna be Mr. Keem facing a ban. Oh my goodness. Oh, he DNF'd? How did he do that? How the fuck did he do that at the end? What the hell? This guy, one elk, it's a pleb. Plebs don't get banned. So, unless they get gifted a sub, this is the. all comes down to one elk. Oh, tactical DNF. The Pure Knight wins and Banzai Gaming. But I said I wouldn't really ban people. This was a test. We're not doing this one. I told people, I told Ralph, I have to keep my word that I wouldn't, wouldn't ban people. This was a test run. Is Banzai Gaming here though? Where is Banzai Gaming? He actually likes to play. He might want to play. And if, let me message him. You know what? Let's message him. He might be down. He's an Eagles fan. These are sweet potato fries. The Eagles ruined the very pr impressive Sam Powell performance. No ladies 
But your friend Sam with his gay unicycle just showed up. So, Banzai is a tier 3, anyways. I'm trying to get him to play an exhibition match. Wild Hacks said he would come out this weekend if Keith went out. Keith went out, Wild Hacks didn't go. So, I don't know. You guys figured out yourselves. I'm I'm soloing now. No more group stuff. Salty, this is comedy. Let me change the category from chess. For the last little bit. Who was first? Sapir Knight was first. Would you like to play them, Banzai Gaming? Sapir Knight. They finished him first. No, you have to earn the right to play. It's a different kind of comedy. I was gonna try it after. I'll play now. I'll play a skit for you after this uh, match. I don't know if the energy is right. You just have to let me know, Drew, because it's two thirty. You don't have to play. If you're both down, I'll host. An exhibition. Some Zen there, uh, Badkins. You'll play for 10 kick subs. This might take a while, so Salty, while they discuss. Let me know if you find stuff like this funny. Alright, what's the situation? Are we, um... Is there a chess match happening? Probably not, eh? That was a... That was a... It sounds like it might be another time to peer night. Drew wants to bet subs, but I understand uh, that that's not an option. Maybe we should save that for a, a heavier night, Drew, eh? The, the serious matches. I will not do a first to 50. Those were the young Eric days when I'd play those matches. The virgin days. 50 game matches, uh... I would need Viagra for that. What kind of comedy do you, uh, watch or listen to there, uh, young J-Bell? Yeah, I've never tried Viagra, but it's uh, definitely something to try at some point. Mostly the boys. 
I've heard good things. I've seen a couple episodes, but definitely heard good things about it. Uh, Robin showed me Archer when around the year we first met, he came to Calgary and he put on Archer. So I thought it was funny when I watched it with him. I haven't seen it like on my own, but Robin liked it and uh, introduced it and I liked it. Um, so yeah, Archer seemed funny, like had some, I think maybe Alexandra, maybe I watched with her a little bit. She liked it too. There's that show on Netflix called Big Mouth. I think I saw maybe half of season one. Like six years ago or something. Um, yeah. I don't know who Lily Singh is either, but I don't I don't like look in the genre very much. Should I look up Lily Singh now? Why am I doing this? Why are we doing this? So, welcome to your first day at Bombay Grill. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm not going to waste any time training you since you have several experience, right? That's right. I spent many years at Hank's Diner down the street. But you also worked at a place called India Namaste Grill, right? Why? Uh, that was actually a barbecue joint called Indiana Master Grill in Indianapolis, Indiana. Huh. But I mean, a restaurant is a restaurant, right? <laughs> you will need to know every ingredient of every dish. Of course, for allergies. I guess that's one reason, but not really the primary one. Can you tell me what is in the biryani? Yes, uh, plain yogurt, ginger garlic paste, salt, garam masala, turmeric, cardamom pods, and bay leaves. And one spoon of lemon juice, right? Uh, no, we do not use lemon juice. I thought you said it was biryani. It is, but in our recipe... But how can it be biryani without lemon juice? I promise it's very popular. Let me speak to the chef. Excuse me? You should know he's doing it wrong. Ma'am, ma'am, hello, ma'am, please, ma'am, please, hello. But you're exaggerating, right? Like, no one actually comes into the kitchen. <laughs> you call this samosa? More like grossa. You should also know the prices of all our dishes. Aren't they listed on the menu, though? No, because the price of dish depends on the type of customer. Write that down. How much is the garlic naan? Uh, one dollar a piece. Okay, get me one. Garlic naan? That's ten dollars a piece. Wow. What a steal! <laughs> and for eleven dollars, we can serve it to you hot, as it's traditionally served cold. Makes sense. For an extra four dollars, we can cut it into four little pieces. I definitely want it authentically. Of course. So that's a one garlic naan served hot, cut into four pieces. Are you guys $15. like fifteen dollars for a slice of bread? Bye bye. People are going to. Is this? Thing. They know the owner. Okay. This isn't so actually an attempt at comedy, yeah, right? So if your family comes, like it's not. A, it's so like a. Dying. A play oh, no, no on it. No for, you go. I'm so sorry. The roti like she's actually trying to be like it's trying to be bad on years, purpose. And we've never experienced such poor service. We actually right? just opened this year. The owner Sanjay is a dear, dear friend of mine. I'm texting him right now. The owner's name is Raj. Sanjay, no. She's trying to be bad. Okay, That's if she's so trying to be bad, because I mean, this is like this Keep is a waste. But these repeat is... offenders. I am not her nephew. She is not my neighbor. And sweetie auntie's daughter did not go to school with me. School. Got it? Got it. And also, another difficult part of the job, paying the bill. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I worked with lots of different payment software. Uh, Lightspeed, Touch Bistro, Upserve. Do you have any referee experience? Say what? Okay, I hope you all enjoyed your meal. Here's the bill for whenever you're ready. I got it. Looks like Bobby Uncle wins the tip off. No, no, no. You pay next time. No, next time. I'm gonna drink. 
Now, if we look at these stats, folks, Ricky Onkel was paid the last four consecutive times. That's definitely a strong offensive move for him. Please, we are celebrating my daughter. She's like my daughter, too. Oh, a strong rebound. How about it's my treat? And the women's league coming into play here. Don't be crazy. You're not paying. Absolutely not. Rejected. It's sad to see that the female athletes the are still not getting the respect they deserve. You know, how about I pay? You know, I'd love to treat my new in-laws. Interference by Derek Smith. Oh, shut up, Greg. Dad, his name is Derek. Oh, shut up, Greg. Shut up, Greg. Okay, where did Greg come from? Derek is a rookie, but has had an impressive night. Handled the spices and the alu gobi like a pro. Knew when to call in the yogurt for the assist and landed. Are they trying to make this funny for Indian people? The inside stuff, because even if that's, it's not even like doesn't seem funny from an Indian perspective. Like what? What, what is it? Three out of five times. I ate the most naan bread. Three out of six. Why don't we split the bill? Nonsense. I will pay. I'm a list. I will die if I don't pay. Okay, take it. Let's take a look at that again. Ooh, the handwork is impeccable here. Before Ricky Uncle could see what was happening, Bobby Uncle executed the steal. We'd like to take a moment and thank you. Lots of cultures Bobby like fighting for the check, but white. you could make it a lot more funny yeah, than that. I That's insist. not I mean, like, the first time I've been to Brown uh, Moon This Mondays. isn't oh, up, like, this is my gun. This I, isn't a so skit. No, I have to put my foot down here. I think my name is Greg. Now, what Derek should have done is... This isn't even a scare. I don't know what, who it is this. Tend to go to the restroom with this credit card in possession. Switch positions and drive that transaction home. Watch Dave Chappelle or we can watch... There's some other shows. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna go to... I got Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I'm just saying, if I was Indian, I really don't think I'd find this funny. And I've seen... I've heard some Indian comedians. And Canada has Russell Peters, who used to be popular or something. My daughter went to school with the owner. You know that? It really do be like that sometimes. I remember as a kid, I went to Indian restaurants, experienced all this stuff. And as an adult, I always think like, what is it like being on the other side, being the staff? Shout out to all the staff at all restaurants. Y'all are goats. I low-key wish I worked at an Indian restaurant because I'm a freaking proud desi. And I'll be eating jalebis all day, every day. Just What? You should get a mon to watch this. He'll be fucking tilt. What was that? That was so bad. Thirty-eight million views. She's really popular. I'm not really sure if y'all wanted this collab to happen. What if I wanted to girl superwoman? Now, when you're underage, there seems to be this magic around the idea of clubbing, right? And as someone who's older and been there and done that, let me tell you what clubbing is really like. Your night's gonna start off getting ready with your friends, aka destroying some person's washroom, and you see this. Is where the party starts. Mmm, this stuff is good. What is it? Uh, boss. Oh, true. Drinks are fifteen dollars in this club, which means you need to be tipsy before you even get there. I personally have yet to find any female comedians that I find funny. I'm sure there could be some, but I've never seen it yet myself. Just for me, though. Which equals about one drink every 15 minutes, equaling one sip every three minutes, or one chug every five minutes. And if you fall behind, that's disrespectful. I haven't tried all, obviously, all the female, but I haven't yet. You need to catch up. A lot of like sex jokes or vagina jokes because I went to just for laughs, but it was like yeah, girl. You make yourself a roadie, yeah. jump in an Uber, in which case your driver will pretend to be stupid and act like he doesn't know that your water is actually vodka. I'm sure there are some. I'm just saying I haven't. On average, I haven't heard it. In fact, to ensure that he believes you're innocent. You'll probably go out of your way and say some dumb ish like thank god we brought this water i'm parched yeah gotta make sure to stay hydrated with water mm -hmm. <sighs> h2o so good so you roll up to i can't do this I, I don't know what you guys want i can't do this like this is when a brown girl dates a white like are these like for is this for little kids um 
It's like, uh, it's like Adam and Eve. Hmm? Let it go, let it go. Well, it is really nice. We can watch stuff another time if you want. Is there, is there, I don't know much comedy. So if you had 15 minutes to suggest something that we try, what would it be? You can tell me a name, a skit, something on YouTube. Yeah, Clayton Bigsby is my favorite skit of all time. Like, I've showed it to Magnus, or like, everybody, Robin, like, Clayton Bigsby is all time, all time for me. But uh, are there some Anthony just okay. I, I went to Bill Burr with him on last year. It was good. Just the Bill Burr. Uh, Bill Burr was part of some of uh, Dave Chappelle skits. The uh, race draft. Racial draft. Um, but it, yeah, he's funny. Uh, he was funny. I, I don't know anything about Bill Burr, but I saw him with him on. It was decent. So... Ralph has a suggestion. Anthony Jesselnik. Which one should I listen to? Uh, Ralph, any, any recommendations for us to all try? Because nobody suggested this, so maybe we'll uh, learn something together. Try most views. I, uh, I, of course, live in Los Angeles. Okay, I recognize this name. Somebody has suggested him or shown me one of his things. Some, somebody's recommendation. So let's continue. Sure. Because I'm going to make you a pedophile. <laughs> All right. Keem has a request. Last week on Summer Love, Megan was torn between sending home two. Are you hiring women to have a seminar, or are you having a seminar because you're hiring women? I'm having a sexual harassment seminar because we are hiring more women. What are women getting hired for? To work. Where? Here. Yeah, what work? Okay. It will be fine. what we focus on, I think, is getting work. I'm headed to bed yeah. soon. We're just watching some comedy. Just, change the fact just relaxing. Sexual harassment training's happening. I've got branch managers from different locations coming. Someone coming. sexually harassed. No, 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 no. When it was a Tim? It was Mike. Mike harasses. Had to be Mike. I've never oh. even seen him work the just thing, touching people. The, the question of who has sexually harassed is irrelevant because a lot it's of... David. Uh, okay. If we're talking sexual harassment, is Cal's goatee. That thing looks like it's about to rape everyone in here. <laughs> I think this is a good look. Okay, shame. You're so in a bubble of harassment that you walk around, you hit nuts, you... Hitting nuts is... You like it. I don't like it, but it's not harassment. You say come. A lot. You can't talk cum here anymore? No more talking cum. What is this, fucking Russia? When you walked over here, I was telling him about last night's cums. Me and this girl both, she was on top. No, 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 Eddie, no, no, no. See, this is, no, you can't do that. Seminar, I call seminar. I pulled out and she still cummed. It was like a ghost. She was coming after you pulled yeah, out? Yeah, I pulled out and she was still, <laughs> she got hit with the electric boogie. She's not on the pill? No, nah, we were both Christians. Both <laughs> cummed at the same time. Really? I don't know, maybe she lied. Great story, Shane. I'm glad you orgasmed hard. Oh, uh, Peg, sexual harassment training today. Nah. Peg, nice tits. Do the check out. Bud. Seminar. I seminar her. She pegged. She made fun of my tits. What we are looking at here is all four breaks. All four. <laughs> yes. Uh, for state inspection, you would need. You would I don't need know who these people are. This is all new to me. God, I. They're comedians well, I wasn't or. Expecting no. that. Price. Um, actually, you know what? You you look kind of familiar. Are you uh, are you from around here? I, I actually am. Uh, I live in yeah? my. This is actually my dad's shop. Oh, it's your dad's shop. Yeah, yeah. But so you have a little bit of power here. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me flex it before you start grabbing it. I mean, you can't tell it. The shirt doesn't fit me quite right because the sleeves come down too far on my elbows, but there is a muscle under it. It's a- It will? Dad's on the phone. He said you get you got you forgot to make your bed this morning. Jean, go back in the shop. <laughs> He's just I gotta flex a little power sometimes. Well, we got a phone call from your mom. She said she's tired of washing all those socks. There's a lot of hard socks. I don't. So back to back to this, like there, like what? maybe take that. Kind of cut that in half. I mean. Oh, I mean, you do. You have the power to do it, don't you? Well, certainly. Do Look that. at you. You're just. <laughs> well, I do have some power. Well, your mom just called. Your cum socks clogged the dryer and started a fire back at your parents' house. Shane. Okay, so obviously I love her. Yeah, she I... is not interested in you at all. Okay, okay. This hurts. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't want to be a dickhead. Yeah. This sucks. There's, There's a whole Venn diagram that can exist of her actually wanting to have sex with me and also wanting a discount, and there's an overlap. I promise you there's never that overlap. Well, every time, every strip club I've ever been to, I've been like, that's the overlap, I'm in the overlap, you're not in the overlap. When's the last time you got laid? Irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Dude, you don't just go from zero to that chick. What you need to do is go to fucking Wendy's across the street, find someone that eats fast food a lot, Try to fucking finger him. We had a whole conversation about my my body. Well, he's talking about your fucking body outside of like people being like, holy shit, did you see that weird dude that works at the shop? Nobody likes you, nobody likes you, nobody likes you. This is what you need to do. You need to go to the bathroom, jerk off. Okay. People do it all the time. No. Cal jerks off constantly here. What? The victimless crime. Here's the bathroom it. needs cleaned. Any residual ejaculate out of there. Get okay? Peg to do that. Peg will love that shit. Okay. Like a pig my in goodness. Pop. You need all to right. jerk off. Jerk off. No. It'll help. Shane. Hey. Hey. So, uh, good news. You are going to be ready by four today. Seriously. That means, like, the world uh, to me. So definitely. That's so, awesome. So can I just leave and then I'll, I'll, I'll come back? Sure. Four o'clock. You know, if you want to come back, uh, you know, earlier. Or, you know, four's good. Four's good. Come on, man. No. Would you? Would you no, just dude. Just let me get the brakes no. off the... What's this? You can't even take them off. Got your penis. Now your penis is. Would you just let? What? Real though, dude. You know she's trying to take advantage of him. What was that? Fucked up. I got your penis. He's excited. So anyway, I went out there and was trying to flex that muscle, and I told them, "Hey, you got to get this car done for her because you know, she's great." Nice of you. Thanks. He might get laid. He's never thought that he might get laid before. Well, I'm just gonna. Get my stuff. That's a nice coat. Thank you. Yeah, very chic. He wears a fucking sleep apnea mask. So She's what? not gonna fuck him. Whatever, he's got a little That's hope for the afternoon. It's not necessarily him. a deal breaker. I have fucked a lot of guys with sleep apnea masks. Yeah, of course you fucking have. I'll see you at four. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. Yo, that girl is fucking hot. Sir? <sighs> fuck me. <laughs> He's gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, this reminds you of Wild Hacks. So What's that? No, nothing. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Where are the other two brake pads? Wait, I don't know. What? There was four brake pads here. Now there's two. Stop making that face at me. I'm rearing up on it. Where are it my could, It could pads? be a bit like Wild Hacks. I've seen it a million times. You know what I would do if I were you? I'd pray to Saint Anthony. Please, Saint that's, kind of, that's exactly Saint what Anthony, you do. help us. Come around. There's a fucking goatee dipshit talking to me. You don't even want him to have a chance. Do you want again. to know where they are? Where? Up your butt and around the corner. I didn't lose the brake pads, but I'm glad they're gone. You going all Trump on me now? I didn't lose them, but if they did go missing, it's probably for the best. And even if I did do it, who? This is why he's going to win again. I don't vote. All right, I actually have to take a shit. You don't want him to. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. What are you doing in there, dude? I'm pooping. Are your feet facing forward? I'm peeing. Shane? 
Ew, I know what you're doing in there, dude. See, you are such a fucking. This is you're sexually harassing me. I'm not sexually harassing anybody. Who's the one with your dick in their hand? Who's the one that's going to keep on my dick in my hand? Yeah. This is natural. It's natural. I'm just trying to have a casual pee, and you're gonna bust in here having a go at it. You're gonna fucking bust in here, dude. I'm gonna tell everyone, dude. No, what I'm are you telling, telling everybody that I'm here peeing? Ew! Please stop doing that. Ew! I'm blowing on you while you're jerking off. Stop blowing on me! It's <laughs> now you're gay. It's not how it works. <laughs> Shane, Shane, ew. Shane! Ew! Sexual harassment is a topic that's very important to discuss. Yeah, I have a question. Is it uh, sexual harassment if you just jerked off in the shop bathroom right before this meeting? Like just now? Did you just beat off? No. He's he's just being, uh, it didn't, there, I didn't jerk off in the, uh, the bathroom. So full stop. Wait, why are we here? What the fuck is this? This <laughs> is a sexual harassment training seminar. All right, is it over? No, it's not over. So harassment of the It sexies. wasn't his fault. There's a hot chick trying to get a good discount. I told him to go jerk off and then come back and talk to her. Uh, that's a good, that's good advice. I would say that, I would, I that's, her earlier. that's for sure. She's hot as shit. Sir. You go to the bathroom, you beat off, get it out of your head? Yeah. Come come back. Clear mind. Everybody does it. Full price. I told you. Full price. I told you. So we no. came down here to hear about you beating off in the bathroom? This seems stupid. No, my penis got touched, but I was in a toilet. I was peeing with an erection. Hey. Four. Where's your bathroom? Uh, Julie, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, how you doing? Hell no, you already got a I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucking horny. <laughs> so much, I really appreciate it. Here for one second, I'll get you. Oh, sure. That guy's fun. Hey, Cal, is it ready? No. Tell me there are brakes on this car. There are two brakes on this car. There's supposed to be four. Well, Shane hid the other two brakes. I don't I know where them. they are. You what? I didn't hide them. Did, Did you? You hid the, bra you hid the brakes on the this brakes. car? I didn't hide the brakes. Did you pray to St. Anthony when you were looking you around? No, <laughs> I didn't pray to St. Anthony. That could be our problem. That could be our problem. You absolutely screwed me. You screwed me. I had an actual shot with this girl, no and shot. you had to get your no fucking shot. dumb face involved in it. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ruin things. Right. And then you Will. forced Will. me to basically Will. masturbate. Will. You publicize it out. Burn all my megaphone. Dude. You had no fucking chance. You had no chance. I was trying to help you. This shit was going to be embarrassing. You were going to give her this shit for free. She was just going to walk all over you. You had no shot. Will you tell him? Will you just ask her? All right, no, I'll ask her. No, Miss, no. excuse me. Yeah. Was there any chance you were going to go on a date with this guy? Uh, I mean, it was a little weird at first, but yeah, I, I would. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna get the brake pads yeah, for get you. The brakes. I'm sorry. I can't believe you didn't check back here, Cal. This is my spot. Wow. Wholesome. Very wholesome. That was new. That was watchable. Just the wholesome little skit. Thank you, Chess Ninja, for the wreck. On that note, we can end the night since it's 3 a.m. and you guys are falling asleep and bored as shit. I can do, we can do more comedy later on a, maybe a Temptation Island night. If it talks, some Temptation Island this week. But uh, yeah. yeah, just saying hi. Did a little bit of the speed run, just a little bit. I've never seen Tim Robinson. Temptation Island tomorrow depends. It's possible. I have to uh, gauge the energy. But uh, yeah, I can check it out, Mr. Keem. Tim Robinson. That's I. I don't check YouTube for stuff like this, but I'm sure there's some good stuff. Oh, the zipline sketch was Tim. Got it. Like he's an actor in it, or he's the uh, creative person behind it. I think you should leave on Netflix. Yeah, on Kick I could, but I might get in trouble still. Just have a Netflix twenty four seven channel. Uh, another time, another time. Well, everybody, thank you for hanging out. Um. So as, yeah, Lily Singh. Could be a new form of punishment in the channel. That was so incredibly bad. 
that we might introduce something related to that. Like every time Amon, Amon flags during Title Tuesday, he has to watch a skit. And I think Amon will no longer lose on time. I'm going to actually propose that. Same with me. No, that was actually, like, that, I, that didn't seem like comedy. Like, that was like really, really unfunny. And the worst part about it is she does it in a way that she assumes the viewer finds it funny. She's like talking to you as if it's really assumed that it's fucking funny. Like, like, what? what, what? Uh, like, what? Well, fucking hell. I don't know how they slap on comedian tags these days. So there's a show, there's a show filmed in Canada. I, I only watched it when Alexandra was watching it. I'm not, it's not really my style, but it's called like Kim's Convenience Store. She really liked that kind of humor. I didn't fully understand it, but it's still, I understand that it was like still a good show. It might not be my style at all. Like I don't really find it funny. But it's called like Kim's Convenience Store or something. I think it's filmed in Toronto. But at least I like I get how somebody could enjoy it or find it relaxing with a little bit of humor. Um, I mean, what's it called? It's called Kim's Convenience. Is that is it called? I've heard of Nikki. Uh, Glazer. Have you seen that show, J Bell? Kim's Convenience. Yeah, like it's 8.2 on IMDb. I definitely, it's not my style, but people like liked it a lot. Some some demographic, but it's it's a TV show, so at least it's not like rushed into like forcing you to like it. I didn't I didn't find it funny, but again, like. The Lily Singh stuff was the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, well, you said it leans heavily on Asian American humor. It looked like Lily was trying to tap into Indian humor, but there's no way that was, like, good Indian humor. <laughs> like, it looked like a huge fail there. Alrighty. We'll try some comedy recs next time as well. I appreciate Mr. Keem's appearance and some of the other night owls, including Badkins and J Bell and Chris Cup and Chess Ninja and Ralph and Salty and Real T and Dr. Lord Divit Divitox Z Y X Z. Yeah. So I'm gonna wind down. There'll be some lots of streaming this week. Lots of streaming this week. Just a warm up. Good night, everybody. Appreciate y'all.